so we went to see Ant-Man and, and the Wasp and the Wasp Qu uh, Quantum Quantum Mania It's kind of Quantum Mania Quantum Mania Yeah the newest uh, number 3 in the in the Ant-Man and the Wasp ones and the first one you saw I did yeah, you've never seen any other Ant-Man and Wasp things. Oh, the first one I saw. Yeah, no, I didn't see the first one. You this is the first one I saw. This is the first one you saw. Yes, yeah, yes. Yes. So, that's so you're here as a uh, newbie. Yes. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but it seemed like a very nice family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a family show. It's a family show. Yeah, this is uh, this is a very f short review. This is a nice movie. It's a family show. It's fun. There's it's fun. Lots of you know special effects, frolic, and and people like real people. And I like so the not the real people, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you know realistic, people. realistic people and realistic family because yeah. uh, generations. Yes. Um, yeah. And uh, and all the older actors. The older actors. I yeah, and really I, enjoyed that. And I liked in the um, Marvel Universe, uh, so this the Ant-Man Ant and Ant-Wasp by association is actually one of the main characters of the original Marvel Universe, not even the mm -hmm. cinematic universe. The cinematic universe is sort of a side character, but it was actually a very important main character. And um, I think they solved that problem of it being the main character, but it's not the main character, <laughs> because uh, that turns out to be Iron Man and, and Captain America and, and, yeah, and, and the, yeah in the MCU. And yeah, they are the main characters and yeah. so these side characters but uh by sol solving the problem by having uh the older generation having been uh Ant Man and having to give it up because mm -hmm. of stuff happens mm -hmm. and then going on to the next generation and now a next generation because yep. the daughter yes. um uh, the, the young daughter is now uh, going to be in this universe, so we get this, like three three tiers of of generations in this, and yeah. And the the Black Panther once implied that as well. I mean, they literally state it is it is uh, it's passed on. Yeah. To the yeah. next and the next and the next. So it's it's always been and it always will be. In yeah, and case, here it goes sort of sideways because mm -hmm. the the older generation never. Uh, yeah. They they got some extra people in and so you get uh, like like found fam. It's not quite found family because I think they're going to be they're they're still working on getting actually together. But this at the moment they're sort of a found family. Mm -hmm. There's sort of two families come together over the Ant Man uh, technology. Mm. Um, yeah, and a very pretty movie to look at. Yeah, the, the special effects were awesome. It was a beautiful, uh, completely created universe that I would say three quarters of the movie is in. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't expecting that at all. I had no clue that that was the kind of movie I was going to I, walk in. I didn't know that either because uh, the other the other two were very much on uh, just regular running around town. Mm -hmm. And so I was sort of going. Uh, I was sort of expecting something. Another problem with with the Ant Man tech. There's cause always problem with tech in 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 if some some bad guy wants it, and then yes. they run run around yes. town. Oh, you have to have plot. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the, and, and reasons. Yeah, and many, then many reasons. Running around town trying to get it away from the bad guys or to stopping the bad guys from getting it. That, that sort of thing. And they did that in in the previous uh, at least one of them, and I think both of them. They sort of did that. So they sort of went mm -hmm. eh. and. Um, now I don't know enough about um, the original Marvel to say if that the the, the small world is, uh, is that a main thing in Ant Man, and I think it probably is. Um, well, it's it's the kind of thing that you could easily do in uh, the visuals of comic books, um, and then it's I think this is the right era to say now we're going to put it on film, yeah, because they can and it, it it looks good. I hope it still looks good in twenty years. Um, but it, now it looks great, and it's you just go with it. You just com it's completely believable. Yeah, and um, I, and I, th I think what the MCU is doing, um, I'm noticing that it, that they are divvying up the uh, real estates of of genres in the the different. Uh, uh, Film subgroups in the MCU. Mm -hmm. So the, the Guardians of the Galaxy get all the space stuff, 
and then mm. uh, but that's kind of limiting so giving this this small subspace this, this which is another universe altogether to this a uh, bit of the franchise is a smart idea because now you have a like a limitless amount of worlds they can go into without actually impacting other stuff in the MCU which is which is connected uh, to other things and causes problems in continuity and trying to get that all yeah. done so you can have a, a wonderful uh, complicated or or visually complicated in, uh, adventure like like this in uh, in a very the very small space, basically. <laughs> mm -hmm. And still, it connects to the larger story. We wouldn't want, want to spoil that, but... Uh, well, that it's it's not a big you, you spoiler. Do, you do have to stay till the end, 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 end yeah. of the movie. Um, and that was even, even... I mean, I've seen a bunch of stuff, so I, I, I know enough to go squee when it happens. Um, and that's that's really cool. I like it when they they reward you by staying through the entire end. Yep. Uh, I also want to bring up the mom. Yeah. Because I mean, she she kicks ass. She rocks. <laughs> yeah, that's and, and, and the the mom is Michelle Pfeiffer, of course, and uh, the dad the dad is is Michael Douglas, and Michael Douglas is is indeed a little older than uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. And they, the way they they filmed his action scenes was basically he's in that uh yeah puddle jumper whatever it's called <laughs> Star stargate we call that a puddle jumper he's in that he he and he goes in and does action but the actor himself can just sit behind the wheel of a <laughs> of a puddle jumper um this is really, really cool yeah. but she, yeah. Uh, in, in, yeah but they did the it. mom got Action scenes. I'm sure there's you know stunt people and all of that, but that but she was she got a very, chance to be proper cool. proper action scenes and yeah. and they made sure that the dad, even though he didn't do action scenes, he got to have an important part of the plot right yeah. at the end. He, he does something Don't very look, important uh, in the beginning. In the beginning also, as well. Yeah. Set up I in mean, the beginning. Stuff. And <laughs> yes, there's a lot of stuff. And it's, it's just I think that's good writing. Is like all throughout the movie you get the people you you keep connecting to the people, and then you they bring you along to for the next bit of the movie and uh, and and we keep reconnecting. So that's that's the kind of film that I like to watch. I think this is very family friendly and very uh, woman friendly. To be so uh, generically s speaking, is like it's not just an action romp. It is really about these people who are having these problems and this adventure. Yeah. Um, do we want to talk about uh, spoilers? Uh, because we can do a yeah. spoiler cut here <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> because um, I, I was saying that in a, in one of the other reviews earlier, we're waiting for for the big bad, and yes. it's here. It's yeah. there. It's we know what well, it is it, now. It was already here. Yeah, but we weren't because sure that it's going to be the yeah, big bad. But now we know it's the big bad. Yes. <laughs> If you've watched Loki, then and <laughs> Loki fans are gonna really want to stay until the end. Um, but if you want, if you've watched Loki, then it's like, what is this? Where they're going? And now they're saying this is where we're going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is great because this is a kind of, um, yeah, a larger plot line that they can string out over so yeah. many uh, yeah, be incarnations because, of the. Because F fully, sp fully spoiler. Uh, as far fully as we spoiler, know, yeah. uh, it's it's not really that much of a spoiler. If you've if seen the thing, it's not not any spoiler. But this bad guy is very interesting because he is multi-dimensional. Yeah. There are uh, whenever you exterminate an ATM in one point, he's gonna pop up in another because it's gonna be another there faction. There is never only one. There is it's, never only one. It, yeah. And how they're gonna fight this one? Oh my god! This is yeah. this is a big bad. This is a big so, big bad. I'm gonna be more spoilery, but not about this. But in the Flash series, there was a point. Sorry, mm -hmm. I'm spoiling it. The, like the, Flash, Fla the Flash is not uh, Marvel, you know. Right yeah, yeah, it. but it's a multi multiverse. It right? is a multiverse. So at one point they had to s squish all the different series that they were making into one universe, but some of them were actually canonically in a different universe. Earth uh, was it three hundred and something or whatever it was, 
and and so so the original Clark Kent of Smallville uh, was in a different universe and Super Supergirl is in a different universe and they wanted to squish them I, I mean and this is meta talk I mean I, I don't know what the writers wanted but it looked like they wanted to like okay let's flatten all the universes and they did they got rid of the multiverse in like this huge two-parter romp mid-season oh it's like a five-parter romp they did they, these they, they got one episode for every series and it was very very cool uh i would say after that i stopped watching the flash but they uh, as far as i understand they 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 redid the multiverse because you can't do flash without the multiverse so and they had to do another five seasons or something like that i don't know but this is up to the point where i watched it and and so where was i going with this <laughs> I forgot. about over there you're, you're going over there yes no i was gonna say because you have the multiverse and therefore you have the multi bad Multi, multi, multi bad. This endless multi bad. Can you ever get down to the one? I know in the Loki series they were trying to keep it to one verse <laughs> universe, yeah. and and and, and they losing. lost. Yeah, they lost that 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 battle. They tried to do it, and so now it's saying we are in the multi universe. Yeah, and we have and a multi big bad who keeps yes. coming. But if you never squash it back, so maybe the people, the bad. Kind of the bad guys, the the the, the, the time minders, TMA. Uh, maybe they had something going there. It's like you don't want a multiverse because now yeah. you have endless um, amounts of the same bad, and yeah. you're gonna have to defeat him yeah. every single. Yeah, one. they 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 they've opened in Pandora's box in uh, yes. Yes. this way times and times one thousand <laughs> so infinite times infinite <laughs> times infinite. <laughs> Infinite size. So the big bad is coming, and uh, yeah. so far all these uh, movies have all been uh, well written. Just, yes. I, I mean, for uh, how to make movies, these are good movies. Yeah. Straight up, you can walk. If you don't yeah. know anything about it, you walk on off on the street, and they give you an introduction of everything you need to know. Uh, the only thing you need to know is that you're going to see an action flick, and you're going to get visually a lot. And maybe it uh, was a lot, and uh, because you're inside that quantum. Yeah, but that's what. Uh, and and that. Uh, so I would prefer to watch it on a smaller screen, but that's just me. So, but if you want to have immersive film, <laughs> this is this is where you want to be. Yeah. But the the you don't need to know anything for to enjoy this single movie and the last no. like five movies of no. of Marvel. No. You, you can walk in the, you can yeah. just plonk yourself down and have an enjoyable uh, yeah. uh, romp out of it. And yeah. that seems to be the trend here. Yeah. And they, but I also think the the love and was it love and thunder? Love and thunder is also family oriented. Yeah. And it's it is it is a smaller storyline through the whole thing, but in this one, of course, it's two families, so it is yeah. a big storyline. But and then Black Panther is also a family, and I think that is a, a very nice hook for uh, uh, inclusion of of a wider audience. Yeah, but I think the they they do give you a little bit of direction because this one is straight up for this this you can take the kiddies to, to this one because yeah. it's enjoyable and it's visually interesting I so love it's and fine thunder. love and thunder is a little bit more yeah, it was more grown up it was a little bit more grown up mm -hmm. and the the but you could uh, probably take your kids to it and the black panther you can take all, all of them almost yeah. all of them you can take your kids the black panther you can take your kids yeah. uh, but it's going to be a little bit more political but if you start to do guardians of the galaxy that's a little bit more more grown up so i take all the kitties or don't take the kitties um, and yeah. but they sort of putting making genres within the MCU of this is a family this set of movies is family family friendly very friendly family this yeah. one is a little bit more political this yeah. it's like that and I think that's a smart move so In, you know yeah. that if you enjoyed an Ant-Man and the Wasp movie before you're probably gonna enjoy the, next, the one. next one and and the Captain Americas were much darker and the Iron Man were much darker and the DC, the television series, because I don't, I'm yeah, not watching. DC, DC, DC is really a different. But they do that too. They 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 had the the this, um, Flash was kind of in the middle there. It's like a nice. Everybody will probably watch Flash because it's just it's good storytelling and it is very accessible. The the Supergirl was a little bit on the fluffy lighter side, 
And then you had some of the others that I'm just blanking on for the moment. That uh, the arrow was much darker. And Go Gotham was very dark. Go yeah, that was. And then you had even the darker ones that were set in the Hell's Kitchen, the Daredevil and stuff. That I just watched one episode and then said no thanks. Daredevil is Marvel again. No, not Daredevil. What's it called? The the one with the blind guy who fights. Daredevil. Is it? <laughs> yeah, that's Marvel. It's not MCU, but oh, it's Marvel. Oh, but I thought it was in the Hell Hell's Kitchen. Yes, it is. Oh, now I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> so the, you're not the what? only one. What? <laughs> it's, it's Hell's Kitchen is Gotham City, right? No, no, Hell's Kitchen is just uh, oh. generally Hell's Kitchen. Oh, I thought that was DC. Okay, no. well, you know. Ah. It's understandable. I that claim that. Dutchness. Yes. <laughs> no, I also it's, claim not it's, being it's a comic, comic complicated. Book, uh, <laughs> but the Daredevil, <laughs> the Daredevil that you saw is not MCU. So, um, yeah, that was a TV Whereas series. WandaVision is and Loki is. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That those who are MCU, yep. so um, the MCU has has is is doing its own thing, and no, if Daredevil accessible, uh, and, and if the, if if Daredevil as a character shows up again, it's going to be the, the the new one for for MCU because It'll be cast, yeah, a new cast, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But it, I expect the 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 WandaVision to be in the MCU, and I expect the Loki series to be in the MCU. Yeah, it is. But the old Daredevil series, I don't expect that to be in the. And this was not Jenny. What was it? Jenny. There was a, was a series that was uh, Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer. Jo yeah, that that is MCU. Yeah, that Jennifer is, Jones. That is MCU. Yeah. So that that was also in and that Hell's Kitchen. Shield and, and Shield. Shield. Shield was a lot fluffier. <laughs> if you can say that, and Shield was not fluffy, but it was a lot fluffier than all that Hell's Kitchen stuff. So and then. The, yeah, know. but that is also MCU. Yeah, um, I knew that. I knew that, and that's yeah. Okay. Yeah, and and Daredevil was sort of a sideways. That, that's complicated. But this movie, very watchable, very enjoyable. Yes, yes, yes. Very pretty. Mm. And and it's Michelle definitely. Pfeiffer. <laughs> and it's actually <laughs> it's much. just for the visuals. It's actually worth reseeing the um, and the amount of of aliens, just new aliens yeah. you've never seen before. Yeah. And the uh, it is beautiful that yeah. way. Yeah, they, they really went all out. There was a little bit of that that uh, feel of like the the Tron movie where you had the uh, the creatures that do this <laughs> <laughs> and and this this kind of stuff. You yeah. know, like a little bit of a minion concept <laughs> that just pops up because it's Disney. So so at some point they can make something that's going oh that's a whole bunch of them and it's so cute. <laughs> yeah, I, I think maybe because it is it is Ant Man and and a lot of people are scared of or or less enamored of of insects. They didn't want to go with the insects, uh, the, the scariness yeah, of insects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they they, they deliberately yeah. steered away from but that. But the older Ant Man, the dad, he did control. Yeah, because but they, we're still in the spoiler space. So yeah, he did control the all of them, which was like. Whoa! But they they made sure that they so weren't cool. they weren't uh, scary or ugly. Cause they, you can no, no. you can make make yeah. an Ant Man and make it make it horror, and and they absolutely did the yeah, complete opposite. I could and I, I wasn't even sitting there expecting that. I and I never, was never fearing that. It was like um, I'll, I'll just you know whatever they come up with. The aliens were not freaky or jump scares. Nothing. No. No. No, so no. it's it's just really about action storytelling with families. Yeah, yeah, it's multi generational. Yeah, and it's not a main movie, so yeah. I don't think you but need like to expect that. to. I like that to over expect on that, and and, and yeah. it just it's fine. This is fine. Yeah. I'm sure it made a lot of money. <laughs> because I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll leave it up to you to research. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so that's um, my opinion and, and my opinion and, and we're, we're sticking, sticking to, to it. it.